Dear brothers and sisters, wishes in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus is our Redeemer. There is no salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which it is necessary for us to be saved, except the Apostles, chapter 4, verse 12. Christ died for us, therefore, having been justified now by his blood, all the more so shall we be saved from wrath through him. Romans chapter 5 verse 9 The God of all graces who has called us to his eternal glory in Christ Jesus will himself perfect, confirm and establish us. 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 10 you are of God, and so you have overcome him. For he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. 1 John chapter 4, verse 4 So be humbled under the powerful hand of God, so that he may exalt you in the time of visitation. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6 You are listening to the voice of the gospel. The voice of the gospel. August 14th, Tuesday, 19th week of Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 18, verses 1 to 5, 10, and 12 to 14. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child whom he put among them and said, Truly I tell you, Unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. Take care that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I tell you, in heaven the angels continually see the face of my father in heaven. What do you think? If a shepherd has a hundred sheep and one of them has gone astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine on the mountains and go in search of the one that went astray? And if he finds it, truly I tell you, he rejoices over it more than over the ninety-nine that never went astray. So it is not the will of your Father in heaven that one of these little ones should be lost. The Gospel of the Lord. Whoever welcomes the child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. My dear friends in Jesus Christ, the disciples approached Jesus with a question, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? But the disciples received an answer they were not prepared for. Jesus called a child in their midst. Then he gave them an unexpected response to their question. If you don't become like a child, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. For Jesus, it is a person who is humble in the manner of a child. Open, attentive, eager and loving. That will be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Children are a great gift to us. They have the ability to teach us all of our lives. Most adults think that uh, children should imitate them. Yet Jesus completely reverses this idea of adults. We wonder how our lives would be different if we truly would follow the example of children. Be attentive to the children in your lives. We can learn a great deal from them. They are wise beyond their years with the wisdom of the ages. Here Jesus teaches us two things about becoming like little children and so become the greatest in God's kingdom. First one is we must imitate children and second one we must be like children. It is because there are many lovely characteristics in a child like the 
power to forgive, the power to wonder, the power to forget. And also child's humility depends, child's trust to be imitated. The next part of the gospel explains that if one of us is responsible for someone being separated from God forever, yes, our God is our shepherd who always reminding and calling us and caring us. When we go away from him, he finds us again and keeps us in his flock. He thinks always that not even one of the little ones be lost. Yes, my dear friends. Jesus, Jesus' parable of the lost sheep continues the theme of greatness in the kingdom by likening the little ones of concern the lost sheep. Amen. Sovereign power come shake the earth again that man may see and come with reverence fear to the living God whose kingdom shall outlast the years. Restore, O oh Lord, in all your flame and in our time revive the judge the best your name and in your anger Lord remember mercy your living God whose mercy shall outlast the years Whose kingdom shall outlast the years?